job of segueing us with one final exercise. I want you guys to flip to the front of your handout. The top section of your handout. Ask a question or makes the statement, I should say. Identify a leadership trait that impacted you most in your life. We've spent the entire workshop just about covering both of these categories. So it should be pretty easy to put down a positive trait and or a negative trait. Let me give you 30 seconds to put something down in both of those sections. So identify a leadership trait that impacted you the most in your life, whether it was positive or negative. What would you say? Robbie? I saw you raising your hand. I know you were thinking, you're kind of thinking out loud. Yeah, go ahead and share. Is this what you put down over here as well? If you put something else there already, that's fine. I said just put it in this corner. Yeah. I think what, what impacted me positive was the sincerity and authenticity of the leader. Oh, wonderful. And, um, and, and the feeling of caring. Because yeah. I think leadership is more about caring for the people for their good than me as being a leader, if I'm a leader. And the flip side, the negative aspect was oftentimes we have corporate leaders as well as leaders of saying who are really out, but out but not out of the basket, but they're self doing more for their bottom line. Mm-hmm. And eventually, I think, uh, because this stands more for me as a trait, so it sticks out when somebody is really doing for themselves, like they're in it for themselves only, um, and that pushes the away from them on the mission itself. Even if the mission is good, right? if somebody is leading it wrong, that's fortunate because I end up having to really tell myself to still stick to the mission. But yeah. if you've got a bad leader, I end up losing the mission. They're like a thorn in your side, aren't they? Yeah, they're like a thorn in your side. I appreciated what you shared for both of them. But you gave us the positive, you gave us authenticity. There was a second trait you mentioned, us caring. You wrapped all of those up in a nice trifold there. And then for that negative trait, being out for themselves, you kept emphasizing that. Being out for themselves, that is something that rubs you the wrong way, which is why you highlighted that for us. So thanks for sharing that, Robbie. Give me your first name. Mara. 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 There we go. There you go. Um, my, my biggest thing I want to believe in leadership is my judgment. And Robbie, when you were saying how, can I start with your name again? Gina. Uh, Gina, when you talked about Gina and you said, you know, you started talking and she didn't put up a wall and you fell. I mean, just that moment when you said that, I was like, that's the sign of a leader who was listening. And I think, I had this big thing about not judging. <laughs> the last thing. So, uh, I think it's a very important, important thing to forget leaders and talking to people. Just let your own, whatever's going on in your mind, your own experience, just stop it. You don't know if you're saying from the same place. Mark, I love that. And I saw that red with the word stop going across it, where you're reminding us that judgment, that judgment is an issue. There's a quote by Stephen Covey that I've had in my email signature since 1999 that reminds me of just that. And it says, the challenge is to be a light, not a judge, to be a model, not a critic. That resonates with me because that was a trouble spot for me in my life at one point. So me seeing that red stop sign is another reminder for me, don't have the judgment there because it'll block the listening. It'll block the connection. It will block the ability to build relationships. So thank you so much for sharing. Thanks. And go for it. For me, a positive impact uh, from a leader that I experienced is investment in my development. My current manager sees my success as his own success. And as a result, I feel supported and it's really me forward a lot in my career in the past three years, I have experienced more growth in my professional life than I did in the previous 10, probably the previous 10 years. As opposed to some managers, I, I worked in a restaurant uh, years ago and the owner's daughter ran the place, so there was no way to escalate an issue with management. Um, but she felt that kind of power hungriness and she liked to be cool to people for sport. So she would be mean and the more I would try to just thought it was an open door to try to crush me a little bit more. So it's just, you know, she can manage a restaurant. She can order supplies and she can write a schedule. They're all managerial tasks that many people can do, but she was not in any way either. And I think the staff show that pretty easily. And 
is Gina, correct? Yes. Gina, your example is a great follow up on what Mindy was saying about being the flag pole. I'm sure you, if you had known about the flag pole philosophy, then you may have wanted to hit her with it. <laughs> <laughs> Yet you were demonstrating exactly what we say with that last S, that final S of modeling leadership. You didn't stay in that environment found another environment where you could grow and you recognize that your personal growth and development is so important. So thank you for adding that to the table. And for everyone who wanted to add something to the table, I, I thank you for that urge, yet I recognize that we're also getting our signal. Since we're getting our wrap up signal, let me make certain that I go through and I wrap up for you to make sure you have the building blocks all intact. We started off with our first building block being our S of self, which we also call Master. mastering self. What's the call to action for that? Meditation. 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 Get connected to you. When we gave you the O, the O of others, which we nicknamed also building relationships, building relationships, what did we give you as a call to action for that? Active listening. Active listening. That's the foundation that there are, you know, the, or I should say, there are four things you could do for each of these, yet we gave you the foundation, which means we closed out with our last building block, the last S, which we say is service. We nicknamed that one to be? Show. Show, yes, show, service, show, modeling leadership, modeling leadership. We want you to be the what? Flag the flagpole. Be the flagpole. So we want you to watch your thoughts, your words, and your actions. As a matter of fact, our, one of our favorite quotes is at the bottom of the page. And it says, watch your thoughts. They become words. Watch your words. They become actions. Watch your actions. They become habits. Watch your habits. They become character. Watch your character because it what? Becomes your destiny. We want your destiny to be that of a disciplined leader. And with the three building blocks that we've given you today and the reminders we've provided you about how you can impact it both positively and negatively, we do believe that one day you'll be sitting around having conversations about the best leader you've ever worked with instead of that person you can't even understand how they got the job. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Facilitator.